Am I the asshole? For not letting my guest sleep on the sofa, because that's my dog's place? My best friend's husband Bob my husband's close friend was kicked out from home for being an idiot and asked if he could spend the night at our place. We have a comfy pull-out sofa in our living room, which is where our dogs sleep. They had separate dog beds in the past, but they hated it so they sleep on the sofa now. Because of that, I told Bob he can have the air mattress. He asked if he can sleep on the sofa instead and I told him no because that's where the dogs sleep. Bob didn't like it, but accepted. This morning, Bob was complaining about the air mattress deflating during the night and being so uncomfortable he barely slept all night. I checked and the mattress was fine. He also made some sarcastic comments to the dogs and me. My husband wants us to apologize to Bob for making him sleep on the air mattress. Am I the asshole? It does seem sort of silly to have an entire fold-out you can't use for its intended purpose on the odd occasion because the dogs like it. That said, Bob is being awfully rude to folks who are doing him a favor so not the asshole. ESH. There's no reason Bob couldn't have slept on the pull-out sofa, as long as he understood that the dogs would almost certainly be joining him. However, Bob should be grateful he had a free place to sleep at all there are plenty of dog free hotel rooms he could have rented. May, I feel like the dogs are an easy excuse. I may be wrong, but I get the impression you don't like Bob and don't think y'all should have had to accommodate him for his own mistakes. Which is fair. I'm not sure I'd want to sleep in the dog bed. Even with covers, they tend to acquire a whiff. And you'd either have three dogs digging at the sitting room door all night as routine upset or trying to join him in bed. I think less not letting him sleep on sofa and more not letting him sleep in dog's basket. But deflating air beds are uncomfy. Not the asshole. It's your home and you get to decide how you accommodate unexpected guests. If your husband feels an apology is in order he's welcome to provide his own senses at his house too and if he feels you were a bad host then he was too. It's a simple rule, easy to remember, not hard to understand. If I like you less than I like my dogs, you get the floor and they get the couch. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's the dog's home and couch, and Bob could have gone to a hotel. Bob can take his cheating ass or whatever his problem is to the local hotel if he doesn't like his accommodations at your house. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. To believe that Bob got kicked out by his wife. Not the asshole. Didn't you say he got kicked out of his house for being an idiot? Why should the dog get moved? They did nothing wrong. Not the asshole. Bob should be grateful that you accommodated him for the night, not moaning that your hospitality wasn't good enough. You would have been if you hadn't given him another place to sleep. Because you did, not the asshole. Not the asshole should have let him sleep outside for upsetting his wife in the first place. Not the asshole. Your dogs live there. Bob does not. Not the asshole. He's a guest and he sleeps where you're comfortable with him sleeping. You checked the air mattress and it wasn't deflating on him, maybe he lied thinking the couch was more comfortable? In all honesty I'm struggling to understand someone who wouldn't just snuggle up with the dogs I slept with three cats on the bed and one other in the room when I house cats sat for a friend. Best night ever. Not the asshole he doesn't get to complain, you offered him certain accommodations and he accepted. He doesn't have to stay with you. We have a couch that is exclusively just for the dog, we don't have people sleep on it mainly because something that a dog sleeps on every day becomes smelly and covered in dog hair and slobber. It's not suitable for a guest anyway, there's absolutely nothing wrong with an air mattress. Not the asshole should have just let Bob know that if he was a good boy the dogs might have let him share their sofa, smiley face. That said, it sounds like it was bad behavior that brought him over to yours in the first place, so beggars can't be choosers and all that. Not the asshole, can see why Bob was kicked out for being an idiot. You and the dog didn't do anything wrong fuck Bob and his whiny ass. Nadar.
Natar. If he wasn't an idiot he'd still have a bed at home. Not the asshole who wants to sleep on a dog's bed? You may need to remind your guest that he in actual fact a guest in your home. Not the asshole. Bob could have slept in his own bed. But sounds like he doesn't know how to talk to people. I have never, in my life, ever slept on a sofa bed that was more comfortable than an air mattress. That is all. I mean, it is your place and you can decide who sleeps where, but, the dogs would have found somewhere else to sleep. Soft you're the asshole. Info what are you leaving out of the story? Because it sure seems like your post is carefully crafted to make this seem more in your favor. Not the asshole. Bob can pay for a hotel if the hospitality you are able to show him is not up to his standards. You're the asshole. LOL. Your dogs are really not going to care remember the one night they weren't on the sofa. Not the asshole. Pull-outs are uncomfortable air mattresses are uncomfortable. If Bob hadn't got himself thrown out, he could have had a good night's sleep. When you need to rely on friends at a moment's notice, you can't be picky. Not the asshole. He can stay in a hotel or with someone else if he doesn't want to sleep on your air mattress. Lol, this one is going to be a fight. But for my part, you're the asshole. Yeah, you can stay with us. But just know your comfort is less important to me than my dog's is disrespectful. Not the asshole at all. I don't even move my cat when she's in my spot. Also if your husband really feels an apology is needed, he can deliver his own and leave you out of it. I wouldn't waste any more time on this idiot who got thrown out of his house and then bitched about the comfort level at the place that took him in. Not the asshole it's your house, your dog's. You offered him a reasonable alternative. I hate air mattresses but I would rather just lump it on the floor than deal with someone else's dogs climbing on me in the night. Bob isn't entitled to be picky. If he did something to get kicked out of the house, then an air mattress it is. Why put the dogs out for him? At least you didn't make him sleep on the hard floor. Not the asshole. Maybe now we know why Bob is sleeping on your floor and not in his own bed at home. Guess Bob shouldn't have gotten his sorry ass thrown out of the house. You know the old saying. Door goes before dumbasses who mess things up with their wives. I think that for someone who was kicked out of his home for idiocy, he is definitely demonstrating why he was kicked out. Complaining when someone gives you something. Even if it isn't what you want is petty. Next time, tell him he can sleep with the dogs since that's his preference. Not the asshole. His bad attitude is probably what got him kicked out in the first place. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I think your reasoning is ridiculous, but it's your house and your rules and he agreed to them ahead of time. He could have gone to a hotel but didn't. If Bob was kicked out for being an idiot, he probably deserved the floor.